This is the entranceway for Hershey RV Resort in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And across the street over here is the black mailbox. No, it's not that black mailbox. This is the one that the people in the park will use for outgoing mail. This is the entranceway ranger station. They will accept your mail here, but you'll have to take outgoing mail up to the black mailbox at the top of the hill at the entrance. It's $59 for weekdays, $63 for Friday and Saturday nights. You'll have to check with the management for yearly rates or seasonal rates because it depends on the spot you want. There are no weekly or monthly breaks. There's the gate over there. Don't know if you can see it. It's a security gate. The code changes every Monday. And down this road is the propane. It's kind of a tight little road, but you can make it. It's right off of Section B. This is the family center. They have breakfasts here inside on Saturday morning, and they have entertainment on Saturday nights. I'm not sure if that's inside or if that's out on the deck. Last Saturday, it was the oldies. This is the upper floor patio area. This is the pool. It's a full size one. It seems to have a little smaller section there, a kitty section there. And Across the way, they seem to have a handicapped chair. This is something I've never seen in a pool. That's really nice. There's a very nice indoor spa here. This is adults only. And there are dressing rooms and washrooms attached. Here you go. Inside the dressing room for the spa area. It's got two shower stalls, a couple of benches, and some toilet stalls. This is the country store on the lower level. They have souvenirs, ice cream, knickknacks. They also have bread, milk, cheese, eggs, bacon, hot dogs, butter. They have a big wider range of selection of the absolute basics than we often see. This is the laundry room. Three top loaders with good sized tubs. They're $1.50. Two front loaders with really not very big tubs. They're $1.75. I wouldn't try to put a blanket in there. Folding table, hanging rack, sink. On this side, four dryers. The two larger ones there are 50 cents for 15 minutes. And the two stacked dryers there are $1.50. I don't know how long they run for. Also on the lower level, arcades and video games. This is the upper floor of the family center. They have tables over there for gathering. Looks like a wood stove and fireplace. TV area. Pool table, ping pong table. And my favorite is the book exchange. They have a substantial one here. A lot of puzzles, a lot of books. Down here in the gathering area, they have a kitchen. They have breakfast here on Saturday. And across from that, down at the end, they have a computer area. The Wi-Fi here seems to be free. It's slow, but it's free. You don't find much of that anymore. Right next to the pool, there's a playground, a horseshoe pitch, and a volleyball court. Here's a pair of very nice-looking, well-maintained tennis courts. Here we have a nice, shaded, miniature golf course. This is the fishing pond. You can get worms and small lures in the country store. It's catch and release only. You don't need a license as long as you're on their property. No swimming.
I haven't seen any tents at this park while we've been here. It seems like most people are in RVs. This is the restroom for the H section, which is our section right now. Here's the women's room. Nice and clean, a couple of sinks, two stalls, and two showers. Look like they've been updated recently or painted. There was a sign down on the entranceway pointing this way for the adult lounge. It's been closed both times I've been up here. There seems to be offices in there and tables and chairs. I wonder if they just have this for membership meetings. This little store is about two miles from the park, west on 322. It seems to be owned and operated by Mennonites and it is really nice in there. It's different. The candy selection, the bread selection, the deli selection, ridiculously low prices on deli, and good. You should see the bakery stuff. Hershey's Chocolate World. This is my kind of place. 